Hey friends, May Flo, I'm here. I've got some supplies out. I've got some pictures to celebrate May the 4th from Disney World, going to a Star Wars uh, dessert party and meeting Kylo Ren, seeing the stormtroopers, watching some fireworks. Anyhow, this is going to be my scrapbook page. When I have pictures this wild and busy, I like to pick either a gray or a cream or something dark, something very pale, basically nothing too bright. I like to kind of let the background speak for itself. So we're going navy blue. These are four by six. These are trimmed up. As you can see, this one is wider because I want to make a rectangle block of photos here. So my photos are ready, but I need to figure out some embellishing. And the only Star Wars stuff I've come up with are these stickers right here, which are great. And we'll try to use some of them. But I want, I think, I feel like silver is the better metal to use versus gold for this. So I found some silver metal sheets. These are adhesive back. And I'm just going to show you how I'm going to prepare these. So I'm wrinkling these up really big time. Now the adhesive back is, the covering is still on. But I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to pop off that backing. And then I'm going to use a manila tag. I'm going to use a manila tag because that's what I have accessible. That's It should be fairly easy to work with. And I can trim from there. I'm also going to place this back over. And then starting at the one end, because this really should stretch pretty far, I'm using this scraper tool and going over. And I want to save as much of this as possible, so... These metal sheets that are adhesive backed are not cheap. So I'm going to save that on the backing sheet, set it to the side, flip it over. Look at that great texture because I had really worked on, you know, really crumpled it up. It's got that great texture. Now I can really press here and I'm going to because this is for my scrapbook. I'm going to really press here and get as any air out as that's there. Okay, I'm also going to flip it over here and any spots where that silver is over the edge, I'm just flipping it over the edge just so that the sticky portion is not sticking out like so. Flip it back over and I'm going to give it another rub down. Now from here, here's some fun stuff that we can do with this. If you wanted to add alcohol inks or acrylic paints, if you wanted to die cut this, you're in a really good position to do whatever you would like with this. And here's one where I went with a lot more smooth, a lot less wrinkles. So you have some control based on what you want to do as far as how much. Now it doesn't go all the way to the cover because it's not that long, but if I want it to, check this out, I can just add on a little piece, okay? So yes, I absolutely could add on to cover the entire tag. I can also snip off with my scissors here or wrap around however you would like, whatever works well for you. You can use bits and pieces. You can also do some really cool stuff here if you wanted. You can do some really fun stuff with patchwork. So intentional lines and in, and intentional pieces going over edges and m marking little marks here. If you get into more alcohol inks and paints and things, in other words, really doing more with the metal, what you're going to find is you can get a lot more out of those lines. You can get a lot out of those spots where things collide. I'm going to go ahead and put this other piece right here just because I think more texture is fun and you can repeat this as much as you want. If you don't have a scraper tool, an old gift card, an old credit card, whatever you've got will work as long as it's just something flat that you can really scrape along that edge and if you have any spots being difficult just trim them off like so. So from here it's back to the scrapbook page and figuring out what techniques I might want to use, what colors I might want to use, and what else I have that will work well. As I started to play with my silver tag, and you see here, so I've cut one in half so that I can use it as an element and have more of it show because I don't think there's any point with this silver stuff. There's no point in me having it, you know, all the way under and only a tiny peak 
coming through, you might as well cut it up a bit. So I've got a few pieces here. I've got a piece of ephemera here. This is the little tag that you have to have uh, during the event. You had to have that on. So I wanted to include one of those. And now I'm just kind of playing with the photographs because I want to just kind of have everything. This won't be finalized, of course, but I just want to make sure everything's fitting. I'm probably going to add a little piece out here with some journaling, or I could always journal along the side. I'm not real worried about the journaling though, only because I think it's gonna be pretty easy to figure out. So as far as the how-to on this part, once you've got this all scrub of pages, you're looking at the same situation. Now, I think I did just say the blue was getting too dark. It was just too much, too dark, not enough contrast. So I cut the piece of blue down. Now it's 11 inches by nine inches. And this white background showing through, for me, it just really adds a lot. It really helps me just kind of make things pop, make things a little brighter, and I like it a lot. So as far as assembling, you're getting your, whatever your tape runner or adhesive of choice is, and you're gluing everything together. Not quite yet though, because there's one other thing I wanna do, and I wanted to show it to you here on video. And that is, I'm gonna put a little bit of acrylic paint not a lot, just a little. And if it's too thick or you want a really nice thin layer, what you can do is just grab some water. All I'm going to do is get a wet paintbrush. You can see how that white wet paintbrush adds. And you can also see that this paint is trying to bead up on my tag because of the finish of that metal. Now that's okay with me. If you want a really thick coating, you're going to just need to have some patience, do some multiple layers, etc., etc., and you should get where you want to be. I'm not trying to do a real thick layer here. I just wanted a little bit of color. I'm just going to kind of uh, wave it around, see, see if it's drying. It's drying pretty quickly, and we can leave it like that. What I was thinking, though, is I'm going to drop a little bit of green. Come on, green. There it is. A little bit of green in the middle there. And I'm just kind of dabbing off my paintbrush. And I'm going to mix. Now watch how when the green comes on, the green is much thicker. And I have a lot less issue with that kind of beating up. That's because the green doesn't have as much water and it's the second layer on top of partially dried paint. So just remember your patience there. So now we have kind of some green and some black going here. I'm going to let this dry all the way and then all I'll do is just sand it just a little bit and by sanding it some of that metal will then pop up and show through. And I really think that's going to be an excellent look. Another option, got my paper towel here, press it in. And that'll give us new texture, but it'll also take some of that paint off, which I think is a pretty cool look, like so. And again, I'll let it dry, and if I need to, I can sand more of it off, clean my paintbrush, and then we can get back to assembling our scrapbook layout. I have glued everything down, just glued everything down, and I actually, you can see, I've got my green. I ended up adding more green and black to the other tag as well just because I really liked how much that added to the tag. You can see all that great texture and color and everything. I just really liked what it added. So I ended up adding to both. And now what I'm doing is I have those stickers and I'm just kind of going around and looking at if I see a spot that I feel like a sticker would be a good match, the sticker goes on. And that's how I embellish all of my scrap of pages. I'll just go around and see, you know, if I see a spot like this would be, this guy would be kind of fun here, right? So we'll add him there. If I see a sticker and I've got a good matchup, I'll go ahead and add it. But if there's not, or if I end up with just a couple left, that's totally fine too. I don't need to use every single sticker. So by going around and saying, you know, does this add anything here? Do I like this here? just kind of helps me keep it so that I don't accidentally go way too far over embellishing. The last thing I want to do is I have black and I have gold. I'm going to do some black first. 
So this is an archival ink, which is great for scrapbooking. I just want to kind of dirty up my edges here. So I'm just going around and I'm just rubbing this ink pad on the edges. If you are scared of getting too much, so you're going to want to have more of a straight angle, like so. The more risky you want to be, the more angled you go. Okay, and you can go very lightly and come back. There's not a rule here. Uh, you can absolutely go super light and come back. You can also, if you want to, you can add it. You'll notice how I can lift all of this. I didn't put any adhesive on the edges of that blue paper yet because I thought there was a chance I might want to add more texture by, um, and actually this guy's not really sticking well, but we'll, we'll fix that in a moment. I know there's adhesive on it. It's just not sticking particularly well. So let me, let me fix that up. I may have to add some liquid adhesive on this plastic piece. It may not be stuck very well, but anyhow, we can go around as much or as little. And if you go less, that's great because you can always add more. But of course, we can really never take off black ink from our scrapbook pages. And the, I find something like this, it can just be a lot of fun. I think it could be a lot of fun. And I, I just heard the adhesive lift. So I lifted off just a little bit there to get, get some fun, uh, get some fun ink there. I'm just going to add a little more here at that corner. And yes, your hands may get inky. Can you use inking tools so that that's less messy? Absolutely, absolutely you can. That's totally something that you can do, such as a foam blending tool. I just tend in my scrapbooking, now I have some gold ink that I wanted to give a shot. I don't know if this pad still has much left. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there is a little bit in here. I just thought it'd be fun to add a little sparkle and gold along here and there as well. Just on the blue paper, I think. Yep, I like that a lot. So, there we go. And I'll, let's see, raise you up just a little more here, if I can. Nope, we're maxed out, but you get the, you get the idea here. We've got a lot of fun here with this scrapbook page. I really like all the fun details and the ink and the paint and all that. But at the same time, this is a very flat page. So this is going to fit very nicely into my Disney World album without being super bulky. Hope you've enjoyed this fun little tutorial and how this page came together. I know I'm absolutely loving how it all came together. I can't wait to add it to my scrapbook. If you have any scrapbooking questions or crafting in general, Feel free to shoot me an email, leave me a comment, or chat with me on social media. I'm always happy to accommodate requests, special requests for videos in the future.